I am Daniel G. Hello, I'm Alessandro Bantoni. Welcome to Food 101. Food, 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 people. Let's talk about food. Oh, Shafi, is this the first week of July? Or second week of yes, July? Yes, uh, second week of July. Oh, yes. second week Start, of July. We started the second week of July. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, people, we are already in the summer, summer, summer heat. And because of that, Chef and I are getting hotter and hotter of our discussion. <laughs> yes. And uh, we are very happy to tell you to our listeners that we did finish our Food 101. Congratulations! Volume 1, Day 6, because it's been a long time I advertised. I remember, Shafi, I advertised, please do grab a copy of, that was 2020, <laughs> oh, I'm not mistaken, 2021, if I'm not mm. mistaken. And the book is really a one year and a half in the making, so please do grab a copy. It's my 100 episodes of my first season. And I do it volume one, basics. Congratulations! Volume two, fundamentals. Congratulations! Probably there's a volume three for my first season because there's a lot. So for my second <laughs> season, where Chef Alessandro did came on my podcast yes food 101 volume 4 i don't know yet what will be that for sure it's italian cuisine because chef and i talk about italian cuisine at that time right chevy yeah most of the time yes absolutely yes on that season where uh volume 4 i'm gonna put of course the name of chef alessandro because that our second season <laughs> On the second half of the year, Chef came to the podcast. So we talk about lots of Italian cuisine. We favorite dessert, favorite dessert, soup. Uh, yes. Pasta. <laughs> yes. So please do watch those uh, volume. We do it volumes by volume, people. So please do support us. Please grab a copy and tell to the world that Food 101 have our own boot version of what we talk about for the first season, second season, and of course, the third season. Cool. Fantastic. Mm. I'm looking forward to see that. Yes. So, Shafi, let's talk about, because it's summer, summer to reduce yes. the hotness of the summer. A nice uh, dessert, a cool dessert, a nice semi freddo. Wow! Oh, semi freddo. We spoke already the semi freddo, but not the whole episode. It's just like yes. we talk about different kind of dessert in Italian cuisine. We talk about panna cotta, semifredo, gelato, panna cotta, Gelsu, and a lot more. Yeah, so many. But and, today... Uh, no, semifredo. I love semifredo, especially now that it's summertime. You know, it's, uh, it's a perfect dessert for the summer. You know, well, of course, there is always ice cream, but... <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, but, you know uh, or gelato, huh? Gelato. Yes. But yeah, semifreddo, it's uh, uh, between. Yeah, it's a between ice cream and a mousse, practically. Yeah, it's, it's uh, semifreddo means uh, half, um, almost cold, you know, half, half cold. So it's no uh, as cold as an ice cream. But it can be because it's keeping the freezer, of course, but it's soft and uh, as a cake, as a mousse, but it's cold as an ice cream. Practically, yes. But it's uh, it's so light that you can make so many different kind of flavor. And I tell you that because I just made a, a couple of the <laughs> at the restaurant oh. uh, sotto sotto 
uh, this week. And uh, yes, I try. I made uh, the the semi freddo with the green tea matcha. Oh. Matcha semi freddo. Yes, that was cool. And I made limoncello semi freddo. Oh, you know, the Italian liqueur. Yeah, the Italian liqueur limoncello is, uh, so was amazing. Yes, amazing. You know, it's not the you know you, okay you make something, but it was good. <laughs> it was good, <laughs> and you can taste the limoncello. Trust me. <laughs> yes, something else. It's one of the trademark of Italian cuisine. Yes, yes, and uh, no, but like I say, you, you can make any kind. Uh, you can make strawberry, pistachio, uh, uh, hazelnuts, Nutella, Nutella semifreddo. Oh my God, uh, Grand Marnier semifreddo. Oh, oh che coffee bon. semifreddo. Oh yeah, cappuccino semifreddo. Oh. <laughs> Caffè latino. <laughs> any kind of semifreddo. You just gotta use your imagination how to do it. When you got the basic of the, you know, how to make it. You know, it's so easy. It's so simple. So uh, for, for me, I make uh, uh, I guess special different kind of recipe. Uh, some I use a custard cream and I use a mer- Italian meringue and, a, and then I yeah, add the uh, paste of, uh, I don't know, Nutella or hazelnuts. Some other I can make with the mascarpone cheese and uh, I use still the Italian meringue because it's nice and fluffy, you know, and then whipped cream or, you know. Uh, so there is a different kind of version. And uh, I really like the one with the the cream cheese because it's nice and rich and, uh, and very local. Yeah, no, I, I really like because it's nice and uh, and, and tasty. It's nice and uh, it gives the nice creamy flavor on there. It's match very good, especially with, uh, uh, let's say, coffee. If you want to make a, a kind of a, a cappuccino or espresso flavor, or even you can even put Kalua in or, you know, something, you know, Tia Maria or something, you know, something, you know, alcohol inside. And, uh, you know, of course, you can uh, improvise and make your own once you know the basic. That's a good thing. And that's always a good match for the uh, summer night with friends and at home. You, you keep it in the freezer, you just take it out, slice and there we go. Yes. Definitely, that's the chef said. Use your imagination. Any kind yeah. of uh, ingredients that you like. Let's say vodka. Oh, yes. okay, orange. Well, we can make yes. a nice uh, orange flavor with the vodka. Oh, oh yes. yes. Something <laughs> yes. else, people. So, Chef, oh, yeah. let's say do the basic ingredients of Sammy Fredo, the traditional. Semi Fredo. Okay. Uh, well, traditional, it's always, you know, you got to make uh, basic with the eggs, sugar, and, uh, and whipped cream. That's the, that's the basic, practically. And, uh, but you can uh, elaborate with something. I like to use the Italian meringue because, it, like I say, it's nice and uh, fluffy, give a lots of volume on the, on the cream and nice and stay nice and soft too. And uh, so I always mix uh, half a kilo of uh, Italian meringue with half a kilo of uh, cream and a half a kilo of basic custard cream or cheese, cream cheese or mascarpone, or, you know, and that's my, my basic recipe. And then I add the flavor that I want. Like if I want, uh, let's say, Nutella, Nutella flavor, you know, I add, you know, Nutella in the custard cream, make a Nutella cream or... Um, if I want to do with the hazelnuts, I just get hazelnuts paste or almond. I'm going to use the almond paste inside the, the, the custard cream. And uh, here we go. Uh, or inside the meringue too, you can make a meringue with the, with the almond uh, powder. So there is uh, so many re- recipes, you know, even on uh, the net, you can find so many different kind of recipes about it. It's so easy to make at home. That's a good thing too. Because you don't need the specific uh, equipment, you know. You just need a mixer and, uh, you know, and a bowl and uh, uh, whisk to mix all together. That's it. Yes. And the freezer. And the freezer, of course. Uh, use a, a, a portion cup or you can use a big tray for, uh, you know, a plum cake style or, you know, pound cake slice style, you know, as yes. a stamp. So that's how many hours you're going to put in the freezer, Chappie, before you 
Uh, but at least, at least you need five or six hours to make it nice and uh, you know easy to uh, pop out and take it out from the from the uh, silicone uh, um, portion portion uh, container. Oh, uh, if you want, you can keep uh, already in the cup. So you just put the cup, a mono portion cup, in the freezer, and you just serve it with the cup. So it's like almost, uh, you know, it looks like a, almost ice cream, but then at the end, it's, you know, it's no ice cream. So you can eat by with a spoon, like a mousse, but it's not a mousse. Yes. But it's not ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so, Steffi, if you compare uh, Sammy Freddo to gelato, Ah, semi freddo with gelato. My friend Massimo from Italy is frutto proibito. Excuse me, he's a genius. He's a genius of, of gelato, yeah. and uh, he's a, oh, he's a he's a uh, tremendous best uh, gelato maker I ever met in my life. And uh, yeah, he makes semi freddo. Oh yes, he does. Mm. He does he makes me freddo. So to compare his ice cream or semi freddo, I will not judge that because I like both. Yes, it's <laughs> something else, people. They have for me they have the same supreme quality of dessert in Italian cuisine. So Chefy, before we go on, we want to shout out to the people listening in, of course, in Netherlands. Yay! Oh, so thank you so much, Netherlands, for being part of our 1 million downloads. In North Holland, we got 79%, South Holland at 8%, uh, Province Gooderland at 5%, Groningen at 3%, Province Utrecht at 2%. Province Zealand at 1%, North Barband at 1%, Zealand at 1%, and last but not the least, Lemberg at 1%. Thank you thank so much. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, people, for supporting this podcast because this podcast is created to empower food, food, food. Right, Chevy? So, Shafi, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. So, Shafi, for Sammy Fredo, is it good for any occasion, any um, parties? Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, oh, yeah, you can use it as a cake too, as a birthday cake, or uh, um, can any kind of, uh, yeah, parties, perfect. So, you know, depend you know, kind of flavor you want to give it, you know, why not? Yes. The semi freddo is like the bigger version of Bake Alaska. Yeah, well, Bake Alaska, it's about, yeah, it's, it's uh, uh, ice cream uh, uh, coated with the, with the meringue and then after, you know, uh, flaming with the, with the torch. And uh, you need a sponge cake, like, you know, you got to give it the shape, uh, you know. Yeah, but yeah, that's an ice cream cake. Semi freddo is more as, uh, you know, like a spoon, a little bit soft. Uh, uh, ice cream, kind yes, of mousse, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's uh, it's uh, it's hard to explain. You know, the Italian word semi freddo. You know, it's like, yes. <laughs> you know, is, is, uh, is that semi freddo? Is Italian word, Javi? Yes, semi. Yes, and then fr- a- in, in Spain they have something similar, same uh, semi frio, mm. semi frio, something like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, and there was a uh, yeah, I think it was invented around in the 19th century, and then, but it was not that popular. And then the 20th century it was, uh, you know, start to get popular most in the, in the in the country. But yeah, it's an Italian dessert, so it's uh, absolutely Italian. One of the most popular Italian dessert that is called classic. Yes, it's something else that if you taste it, we're gonna say che buono. You're going to want to eat oh, more, yeah, abs- more Oh, yes. I can tell you we're going to be a big get born over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's, uh, it's something that you never expected. And I like, you know, to uh, elaborate, you know, when I, when I want to make something I want to make a little bit more fancy. And, uh, you know, I would like, you know, to get the, you know, the semi-freddo around and inside something soft is coming out when you, you know, 
you cut and uh, you know with a spoon i always you know got, got that kind of idea for the dessert and uh yeah i made this few few special especially with the strawberry make a strawberry puree and i make it in a cube frozen and then after i put inside the simulator so when you defrost a little bit you cut it you know the the sauce of the strawberries coming out it's uh something uh, fantastic to me yes yeah, indeed very 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 good too very very good so Shafi, let's do the simplified or the simple way or procedure in making semi freddo well uh, the procedure is uh, okay you have to make the uh, meringue like italian meringue italian meringue it's uh, you know uh, white eggs and the sugar but the sugar has got to be cooked you know around 120 degrees you know and uh, so you need that that's the only thing that you know you need to uh, elaborate on it. <laughs> it takes a little bit of time, but eventually you can just make a meringue with the sugar, and then you mix it with the whipping cream. You don't have to cook it because you know if at home you don't have that time time to do it. So just make a meringue, a regular meringue with the sugar, and uh, and then after you add your basic cream on it, and then after that you add your whipped cream and the same all the same amount of the recipe. Is uh, it's, that's the that, that simple other recipe they just do you know, you they just uh, uh, egg yolks with the sugar and they add uh, you know the whipped cream on it. So it depends what kind of recipe you want to do, but you know, if you go on the net, uh, you can find an easy recipe to do at home for sure, absolutely. And they're all good because you know, sometimes I go looking around, they're very, very nice, uh, nice recipe on the net to see. Yes, people, they are different in techniques but the foundation if you uh, compare to the traditional in making sabi fredo is the same probably they just change the ingredients or they change something in the procedure in the making but the whole thing is the same as the traditional semi fredo are you, are you making semi fredo work oh no shafi <laughs> <laughs> no not yet i want to do it Oh, the first try, right, right. Yeah, the first time I <laughs> I, I encounter I'm working in the Italian cruise line. Yes, I first time encounter they put in a classic Italian uh, bowl in a white bowl. So it's so fancy, and then the thickness is just like one and a half inch the thickness, and then they serve it one by one with, uh, it's elegant if you serve in any, in a restaurant, on a five-star restaurant with the plate, the same white, they, they serve with the, and then it come from the freezer. It's one of a kind. It's something else. <laughs> I was uh, uh, only 17 years old. I was working for a big hotel in Rome. Uh, the Lord Byron Hotel, and I was under the direction of the our executive chef. His name was Antonio Schullo, one of the best at that time. In the late, I don't know what I went. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I was <laughs> I was seventeen years old, yes. and uh, and uh, uh, he, we made one. Uh, well, he, he got a genius idea. This uh, was an amazing chef. Yeah, this is a genius idea to make a, a mascarpone cheese semi freddo with olives inside. Oh, yes. We never imagined, you know, it's going to be something. And we use a kind of terrine, terrine stem, uh, terrine uh, container. So when you flip over, you got this uh, rectangular, nice and hard semi freddo. But then when you slice, there was all olives in the middle. Oh, so when, wow. when you slice it, you have the, the olives. But the olives, we marinate with the sugar syrup. So you never imagine the olive was sweet. It was it, it imagines maybe it's you know it's salty. sour or it's salty, you know? But it was amazing. It was uh, we made this uh, mascarpone cheese semi It was fantastic, and uh, with the middle with that, that, I still remember. It's, uh, you know, it's uh, it was a very cool, uh, cool idea. You know? Yes, it's something else. So, Safi, let's do our our version of semi freddo. If you want to make uh, modification of semi freddo what you're gonna put uh, inside the semi freddo yes uh, can we put can we put cherry tomatoes <laughs> you kidding but you know what so, you know you can do it if you pickle the tomato but you put it in the in a syrup in a sugar syrup 
uh, pray you make the, the, the tomato sweet, very, very sweet. And yes, you can put with maybe a mascarpone, even ricotta cheese, make a basic of uh, like a cream cheese or a cheese, a four kind of cheese, semifreddo with the tomato in. Yeah, it would be a cool, cool idea and uh, very good. Uh, it can be possible, of course, yes. You can even make a curry or tomato curry on it. Sweet con tomato curry. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, everything can be possible, you know, in, uh, if, you, <laughs> if you get the, you're willing to, you know, to try and, uh, you know, uh, use really your imagination in the kitchen and try to use whatever you got in the kitchen. You know, every response, but uh, kind of everything. <laughs> Almost <laughs> everything. Come on. Yes. Almost. Use, Almost. Use, use your imagination, people. If you want to yeah. do something in the kitchen, we always, Chef and I, are always telling you that in the kitchen is your privilege to experiment to do the thing that you want to do. Just like Semifredo, probably this is a part of experiment that they did in Italy and then they make it just modification and modification and become better. So uh, Chef and I, we are encouraging you as a chef, as a cook, if you have the privilege to experiment the food, do it because probably you are one of the best in the making or the dish that you are doing is one of the best that people will uh, talk about from generation to generation to come just like Sammy Fredo right That's Chevy right. yes absolutely here we go and I'm inviting you to listen to my other podcast book 101 review on our third season the same with our food 101 my book 101 review talks about uh, books, 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 people. We review books. We, I, I interviewed oh, no, different people are authors that they uh, did their books and we want to promote them. So please support my book 101. I just want to remind you that uh, Food 101 Volume 1 Basic is available on Amazon and leading online bookstores worldwide. It's available on Kindle, paperback, and hardcover. Plus, the volume 2 is not yet approved, the hardcover. So, available from paperback and Kindle. So, please support us. Grab a copy of Food 101, Volume 1, and Volume 2. Okay, Chevy. Let's, yes. Uh, what else we can say about Semi Fredo? No, eh, Semifreddo, what can, what can I can say? You know, eh, the best season is now, so try it. You know, eh, don't be shy to try at home because it's so easy to make. Uh, just, you know, even you can grab a, a recipe from internet, go for Because it's, uh, you know, it's uh, something that instead to go buy a cake, you just try to make at home. You know, try to make it. It's, uh, it's not that hard. And uh, so you're going to surprise the people at home. Absolutely. Yes. Something else, people. If if you are willing to do it, for sure you're going to do it. No excuses. For me, I want to do semi-fredo because I never do it semi-fredo yet. <laughs> I know how to do pavlova, so it's easy for me to do the <laughs> meringue. <laughs> for, for sure, for the first time, I'll do the, the semi-fredo. It, it sucks. It's it, it's not that good that uh, Chef Alejandro no, doing. <laughs> no, it can be okay. It can be okay. Absolutely. It, it's it's a matter of experiment, people. I told you, don't hesitate or don't afraid to commit mistake in the kitchen because this is the process. You get them better and better in the process. You know, every time I try to do a home, so I'm convinced, you know, that I'm working in a restaurant. Instead, I'm at home, you know, and I start to take out the equipment, you know, and everything. My wife said, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, you are home. I said, ah, I'm just so used to it. You know, I got to take out this, I got to take that, you know, the big mixer and this and that. Yes. <laughs> said, yeah, who's going to clean up after? <laughs> uh, I will, I will, I will. Yes. That's uh, so fun. I I if I want to do semi fredo chapi, I want the tiramisu version. Oh, okay, okay, right? Coffee yeah. and kalu. No problem. Yes, you can do it. Yes, you can do it, the tiramisu semi fredo. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. So, people, we are encouraging you to do semi fredo because today is summer, hot, 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 and it really refresh you because it's something like 
supreme like gelato. Yes. Listeners, thank you, listeners, for being、uh, giving us a 41 listen score and 1.5% popular show globally. Thank you so much. And I hope people will continue supporting us, right, Chappy? So that、Absolutely. Yes. we will continue doing it because we are nothing without you, people. So thank you so yes, much. Yes, that's right. For one million downloads, and Chef and、Thank、I, you. and、uh, Chef and I already having a pr-、uh, what do you call this description for our next season. Oh, I, I hope you are excited for our fourth season because we're gonna do this、uh, until we want to do it. Oh, right, Javi. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. This is a part of、uh, our list. This is a part of our lives already. So,、uh, Chef and I will committed to do it and do it even we're getting older and older. Ah,、oh. <laughs> oh, so, getting young, you know, you're older. Keep <laughs> ale, as they said, keep ale. <laughs> Chappy,、uh, invite them to you, visit you in Soto Soto. Come to One Twenty Avenue Road in、uh, in the Toronto downtown,、uh, and、uh, you know, come over and see Soto Soto, the restaurant. Come over, come over, make sure you make a reservation because we are limited. Well, we are not limited, but we have lots of. Lots, yes, lots of reservation every day.、Uh, we are very busy, so please, if you want to come over, try the our food. It's yes, please. It's、uh, something amazing, and、uh, and you can't find too much the same、uh, in Toronto. So I guarantee that it's a classic, traditional Italian Italian recipe, Italian food. Marisa, she's an amazing owner, and、uh, and the recipe keep going like uh, uh, for years and years and years now. So we keep that that way, and、uh, and we put always something new every day. And、uh, so come and try, come and try, please. Yes, Italiano vero. What is it? Absolutely, Italiano vero. Authentic <laughs> Italian cuisine, people. You just like if you you are eating in Soto Soto, just like you are in Rome. Oh, right, Javi. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, <laughs> because their menu is more like. You are in Rome, so please、yes. do support Chef Alessandro. Visit Sato Sato in downtown Toronto.、And、yes, please. So, <laughs> Chefy, thank you for your time. Thank you very much for having me here, American people. See you soon. Bye bye.